All right, y'all, here's the deal. Here's the latest information on that lawsuit between the lame, I mean the game, and the finest woman that was on, she got game, Priscilla Rainey, one of my favorite models. Now, uh, TheBlast.com posted an article titled, The Game's Sexual Battery Accuser Claims He's Hiding Millions Refusing to Pay. He needs the man up and just give this lady her money. Anyways, it was published March 12th of 2018 at 12.05 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. I don't understand why that matters while I'm reading the time that it was posted, but I just feel like reading that. Anyway, it was posted by Gary Trock and Ryan Nauman. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. N-A-U-M-A-N-N. Nauman? Newman? Nauman? Meow. Man, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyways, um... Here's what the article says. The ex-reality contestant who won a $7 million judgment against the game. Actually, I think it was $7.1 million. Don't forget the point. $1 million. Most of y'all nigglets don't even make that point one in a year. But that ain't none of my business. <laughs> the ex-reality contestant who won a $7 million judgment against the game says she hasn't seen a dime from the hip-hop star and is accusing him of of diverting millions of dollars in income to avoid having to pay. <whistles> Priscilla Rainey filed documents on March 1st demanding the How We Do rapper turn over all of his financial records and requesting that he be held in civil contempt for refusing to comply with the judgment of, pay of paying a pretty girl. I mean, I read that wrong. Of refusing to comply with the judgment. She says the rapper has objected to numerous discovery demands and despite his lawyer claiming the docs were going to be turned over, they haven't been given anything. Rainey also says she conducted her own investigation with third parties and allegedly uncovered substantial evidence the game is diverting, quote, millions of dollars in assets and income through alter ego entities controlled by himself and his business manager. She wants the judge to order game to appear in court and testify under oath regarding his income and assets and also about the accusation of income diversion. Rainey was a contestant on the game's VH1 reality show She Got Game in her initial 2015 complaint. She claimed that during production, the rapper sexually assaulted her by forcefully reaching his hand under her dress to rub her beer, vagina, and buttocks. I'm sorry, y'all. It pains me. To read that because this dime piece goddess supreme deserves so such better treatment um he denied the allegations in court and vowed to appeal the ruling a social media post also made it very clear that he did not intend on paying any money to rainy you know he had posted a picture wearing some louis vuitton uh boxing gloves i guess he was in rotterdam netherlands at the time this was let me see you know, this is a couple years ago I don't know, man. You know, I'm going to read to y'all what he said. Give, give me a minute. I'm going to finish the article, and then I'm going to go back and read to you what he said. It, it's really heavy. I had uh, read it in an earlier video, too. Anyways, last year, Game filed his own $20 million lawsuit against Viacom, accusing the network of failing to ensure contestants were suitable to compete on the program and also for not protecting him against Rainey. At the time of his filing, Vi <laughs> Viacom said the rapper is, quote, seeking to shift the burden of his damages to Viacom through a misdirected legal action that is totally without merit. Ain't that the truth? I totally agree with Viacom. How, how dare he? Uh, he needs to man up. He needs to pay up. And, um, yeah, I posted this video clip of She Got Game, which is posted on YouTube, posted on my blog. Uh, the blast had posted and I reposted on my blog can't post here on youtube but i just want to read to you what the game has said to refresh your memory before i go because i'm about i'm going to end the video off with what he said let me do my outro because this is so heavy that i'm just gonna have to cut it off i, I know it's gonna really piss me off i gotta say two things i gotta say this about priscilla rainey and then i gotta do my outro that i do on every video before i read to you what this idiot said um first of all priscilla rainey I believe everything she's saying. She said that this dude forcefully uh, touched her. Think about it. This is the guy that was, uh, <laughs> he, for legal reasons, he appeared to have been uh, fin fingering India Westbrooks at the park, his uh, <clears throat> teenage ex-girlfriend, alleged ex-girlfriend, excuse me, for legal reasons. And um, and I'm sitting there watching this mess. And remember the, the pictures that came out, they were at the park or something. And I'm like, man, like, what type of 
degenerate behavior is that like have a little respect like get a room you know what i mean like he he's just exhibited disgusting behavior before didn't his ex say that he allegedly uh put hands on her wasn't he videotaping himself beating on 40 Glock, rival rapper 40 Glock? I mean, the dude is, he, he's the lame. He should change his name from the game to the lame. Remember, ladies, leave these street dudes alone. This, this is how they are. Clowns. But anyways, uh, let me do my outro and then I'm going to read to y'all what this dummy said about her. Now, remember, uh, if I'm not mistaken, she was suing for $10 million. So before she got awarded the $7.1 million, he... Let me do my outro, then I'll read it to you. Let me know what you think about this all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit Meat Magazine, not blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter, Meat Magazine. Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. And hit that notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. Looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts to be notified when new videos get posted. Subscribe, notify, comment, and click the notification button. But before I go... And before I read this, let me just say this, man. It's funny he's wearing those boxing gloves in that selfie. If Game wanted to step with me in the ring and box, or we could do it UFC style, it doesn't matter. It'll be the same outcome. Um, I would totally do that, and I would do it for free. I would actually pay him to do it. I would pay Game millions if he stepped with me in the ring. But he's a gang member. He, would, he wouldn't do that. He, would, he wouldn't have a fear fight. But anyways, um, let me go and read you what this idiot said about the beautiful Priscilla Rainey. He said, let's get one thing very clear. That thirsty Gatorade mascot of a transvestite will never see $10 million or anything close to a penny of my money. So this idiot said 26 months ago on Instagram that he never intended to pay her anyway. Will never in capital letters. People think because they read a headline in bold print is true. She won a judgment of $10 million. That means that a judge because I'm overseas, has given this chicken a chance to maybe be able to afford a lifetime supply of lace front hair glue. So I actually, I guess this was uh, after she won the case. I thought this was actually before she was awarded the judgment, but we'll listen up to what this idiot went on to say. <laughs> if my lawyers don't respond to this suit by the 26th of this month, which they will do tomorrow a.m., why what, did you wait to the last minute like a dummy? Uh, as soon as I'm home, me and my lawyers will eat this case in capital letters like a box of Minion Twinkies on sale at Walmart. Did he get paid for that little advertisement? <laughs> this dude's such a core boss. I swear to freaking God, this Negro is a lame. <laughs> and VH1 has a separate suit filed against them by the stock bot uh, that they will also win because number one, this biatch. Snoop's voice, excuse me, let me say this, Biatch. Snoop's voice is a liar. She has a history of theft, fraud, prostitution charges, and a lot of other, quote, tranny panty activity in her past that makes this false claim irrelevant. Don't be fooled by these accusations or the dollar amount in the headlines, because I put that on my favorite auntie's poodle. Y'all, please tell me that this Negro is not the lamest person in the world. I put that on my favorite auntie's poodle. This broad ain't getting shh. Every girl on that show will tell you I never touched this chick or ever desired to be anywhere near her. Actually, I think it was the first episode. Um, he had her on his hoverboard that he rode in. I could have sworn and he wanted to be next to that big old booty if I remember correctly. Anyways, uh, she got kicked off the show. <laughs> And as a result, she filed this lame. This Negro is using the word lame? Niglet. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> filed this lame lawsuit, which was probably her intentions before the show uh, was ever even started. I'm telling y'all there's a war. I'm pretty out here. Uh, she was begging for my attention the entire time we shot the show and was given the ultimate Major League Baseball curveball. So that upset her and made her a little wee-wee hard. Why does he keep talking about wee wees and stuff like that? Something, anyways. Mm -hmm. Someone suspect. A uh, little wee wee hard. So she did what all chicks like her do when life gives them no other options. They sue you. This is really a crying shame. So at this point, I will use the crying shame emojis. And he posted four crying emojis. See you in court, Mr. Rainey, once again. Talking about her sexuality. 
And I say Mr. because your mustache is probably a bit longer than it was during taping because uh, that it's about to be spring. And that's usually when mine is at its healthiest. So you knowingly had a transgender person. You see how he's revealing? Anyways, <laughs> hit at, uh, let me see, Bebop, B, I don't want to ruin his name, B-E-P-E-O-P-R, Barber, Bebop, P Bebop, Bebop R Barber, I don't know, for the best mustache edge up you can find. Tell him I sent you, and it's on the house, you dusty B. You, here comes, here comes with the hashtag, see such, anyways, you, <laughs> You dusty B, you hashtag tell him about that scratch and sniff wig you've been wearing. This is a grown man, like 40 years old, gang member, tough guy with Louis Vuitton boxing gloves. Hashtag here he at underarms. Hashtag B was using my old spice. Insert old spice whistle. <laughs> hashtag PS. Hashtag I hate. All 17 of your wigs. Dang, you counted them. So were you trying them on? <laughs> Hashtag, and yes, I flushed your closure piece down the Waffle House toilet. What is a closure piece? Please somebody let me know in the comment section because I don't know what that is. Maybe he worked at a salon. Oh, he did have a blonde streak in his hair back in the day. Maybe he did some hair, girl. Take these one, two, three, four, five <laughs> game control emojis. What five? Because he's a blood. <laughs> uh, hashtag Joanna man, and that's what he said. But um, <sighs> so this Negro is saying that he knowingly had a man on the show. This guy's is a woman. And y'all have us take men like this seriously. Calling her Mister, talking about her non-existent mustache. First of all, she had a mustache. She just be a bad chick with a mustache. And uh, a lot of Latinas have mustaches. For example, if not mistaken, I think Priscilla Rainey uh, might be uh, half black and half white. I don't, I don't remember exactly what she is, but um, a lot of Latinas, for example, have mustaches. And I'm not dissing. I'm just saying, you know, I noticed that, but they still be looking fine as hell. You know, what I'm saying just hand them a razor and saying, let her be my baby. You know, what I'm saying shout to all the Latinas out there. And I ain't trying to diss. I love y'all. I'm just, I'm just saying. A lot of y'all have us do be happy. <laughs> uh, anyways, y'all still be fine as hell. All right, don't, don't kill me in the comments. But so let's get this straight. The Negro said Gatorade mascot of a transvestite. I'm trying to get all of the uh, the suspect weird stuff he was saying real quick. Uh, tranny panty. Let me see. Blah 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 blah. Mr. Rainy. The part about the mustache growing. Let me see. She has Harry underarm, 17 wigs, using his old spice, flushed her closure piece down the Waffle House toilet, whatever that is, and uh, snap, scratch and sniff wig that she wears, even though she has 17 wigs, but she has, uh, I guess one of them is a snatch and I, I, I don't even know what's going on. I'm sorry. Too much stupidity for my little brain. I'm already dumb. Um, But yeah, ladies, uh, y'all still want a gangster? 40 year old man in the game pretty cool right with Louis Vuitton boxing gloves that's gangster that's so gangster all right y'all um I think that she deserves her money I think she needs to get it and um if they have to put this Negro in jail um I don't really care uh he needs to man up and pay her this money he said from the beginning that he was planning on not paying her um so he snitched on himself he's an idiot um but you know uh <laughs> you know uh, Look, man, uh, I hope that she comes up with a new lawsuit because is it, it, he appears to be refusing to pay her. He appears to be. So if that is come to find out the case, then I hope that she wins a second lawsuit. I hope she wins even more money. And um, if they have to, you know, take his stuff so that way they can give it to her, uh, it's only fair game, you know. He messed around with the best, and um, now he has to pay her like the rest, you know. Uh, shout out to Priscilla Rainey. Team Pretty Girl for Life. She's a very beautiful woman. Um, she's fine as hell. Pretty girls could do no wrong in my world. She's obviously innocent. And, um, 
Yeah, shout out to Priscilla Rainey. I think she has a man, so I'm not gonna slide up in the DMs or anything. Plus, shoot, uh, I can't I can't afford a woman. It's fine. You know, crackheads and homeless women for life for me. <laughs> stay, stay in my lane. Lavar Lavar Ball voice. Stay in my lane. <clears throat> but shout out to Priscilla, man. The woman's freaking perfect, y'all. All right, y'all gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, and before I go, ladies. Do you want a man like the game? <laughs> is this what a real man is to you? A 40-year-old gang member with Louis Vuitton boxing gloves that calls women men on the internet and gets sued for a ton of money and loses his case and is dumb enough to say uh, for the internet to see, I ain't gonna pay this shit. You're never gonna get my money. And by the way, she's a man and her she, she has a, snatch and st a scratch and sniff wig. You want a man like this? Y'all ladies, hey, ladies, do you, you want to have a kid? With a sorry negro like this, uh, t tell the truth, ladies. Tell the truth. Run around videotaping himself attacking people. Like, y'all. <laughs> this dude's whole career has been an L. I'm sorry. <laughs>